Good evening everyone, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in today's free video I wanted to look at some ideas around Best Buy earnings. Now if we look at the way that Best Buy has performed over the course of the past three years we can see that we've had eight instances where the stock gapped higher, four instances where it has gapped lower. More than anything I'm looking to this and basically just thinking I wanted to initiate a type of trade where if things did roll over and we had a big shot to the downside that I'm not having to guess at where this may trade but if it trades sideways that I can try to make more money because there's so many different ways of looking at these situations and if you just wanted to sell a call credit spread sure that's a fine way to make money if the stock moves lower but if we sit here and trade sideways and also because I thought this would be a perfect you know perfect situation to talk about this type of trade I thought it was a good place to look at an unbalanced butterfly now most any time you're considering that you want to set up a butterfly you want to focus on keeping your body out of the money because that's going to be the strike that you are short so if we look at the price that Best Buy closed at today closing at 62.47 that's a perfect place to discuss the idea of constructing the butterfly to use the short 62 half call because you're setting three cents out of the money and it's a good place to theoretically show exactly what you want to happen because what we're trying to do is maximize the credit received through the sale of this strike maximize the intrinsic value of this but at the same time making sure that the credit we receive overrides what we're having to pay um, if you look at the position itself it might be a little bit easier to understand here where you can see the bulk of the position or the reason why this trade goes for a credit is because we're taking in a bulk of credit off those short options the credit received here will make up for the debit that you pay in the other two strikes and that's what gives us no downside risk another way of thinking about this is think about if we were to take this spread and of course the reason why this was a little tricky is because you had the exact same spread going for exactly the same price in two different expirations but the place that we want to focus is the series that will expire this Friday and think of it from this point of view say if Best Buy was trading exactly this price on Friday afternoon what would this be worth well, the 65 and the 62 half calls would expire worthless because those are both out of the money and they just completely fall off. Then the only thing you have to think about is how much intrinsic value you have from the $60 call, which you would have $2.47. So you have $2.47 plus the 70 cents you took in on the initial credit, which is going to land you with a profit of about $3.15. So, a lot of different ways of thinking about these strategies. Of course, if you just want to step in and sell calls, that's very straightforward and there's not a thing in the world wrong with it. If you prefer to try to structure your butterflies with a little bit more of a neutral tone, but still have risk in only one direction, I think that's a great way to do it. So, I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you at the next free video. Hey everybody, this is John, and thanks Henry for that update. And just want to just do a couple of quick updates here for uh, this new tool that we're using and some questions from the class that we did on Saturday and a few things that we want to look at going into tomorrow's live trading. So um, first of all, on the queues on a daily chart, you can see that the bars here are still neutral. Okay, these are the 10x bars. We're starting to nibble on some selling some call credit spreads and things like that. And then what we're looking for is to see if this momentum uh, can then roll over and trigger what we call red bars. And if we get into red bars, we can go from credit spreads to more of a directional trade using the puts. And one of the trades that we're in right now is Amazon. And on Friday, when, when we popped up here and this failed, we bought some puts and sold some call credit spreads here with the yellow bars with the idea that we could then get some red bars, which would then carry us home into new lows. And what was nice about this today is that even though at one point Amazon was up uh, like $6.50, give or take, the bar momentum never changed, which that's what gives you the confidence to kind of hold on and say, all right, this thing's going to roll over and die. And um, we did roll over a l into the close, and we're even going lower after hours. So that worked out great, and the tool worked just as expected. And we did do some a little bit of trading on the futures today. And you can see here when we trigger momentum there with volume, that's when we get the best up moves. This was a pretty nice eight-point move 
in the S&Ps, and then also, of course, a corresponding nice move to the downside as well. So a lot of good stuff there. And so I bring this up just because we're going to be doing live trading. Uh, the live trading portion of the class is going to start tomorrow on Tuesday, and it'll be during market hours. And then we're also going to do it on Thursday and Friday. And during this live trading, I'm going to be doing stuff like this with the futures live. I'm going to be doing trades like on Amazon live, and we'll be setting up day trades as well as swing trades. Now, for those of you that took the Saturday class, if you would like to upgrade and make sure that you can participate in the live trading, um, a link for the upgrade was sent out with the class. You, you can also, of course, give us a call. And as a reminder, this is how we've got it set up. Looks like I, I cut off the top here a little bit, but that's fine. So the strategy class that we did on Saturday is 497. That includes that indicator that it showed you, plus everything about the strategy, how it works, and stuff like that, too. Got a lot of positive feedback on that, and a lot of people said that this is one of the more useful indicators that they've ever seen in terms of how it works and why, and I completely agree. With this professional package, uh, this also includes live trading. So we're going to get three days of live trading, a follow-up day, plus three months of the 10x scan access. So instead of staring at a chart, it's going to show you which stocks are meeting that criteria. And last but not least, um, our elite package just includes everything here plus 12 months to our full scanner. So I would just say that if you're if this is the first time you're seeing this and thought, okay, that was a really cool indicator because it is, and for some reason you just missed out on this, you can still do the 497. You'll get the recording of everything that we covered on Saturday, plus you'll get a copy of the indicator that you can start using. And then if you're really into the live trading, because frankly this is kind of where the rubber meets the road, and this is the part that's gonna be the most fun. And we're obviously gonna be doing we're gonna be doing individual stocks. We are going to be doing options on individual stocks. We're gonna look at futures, we're gonna look at some currencies. A couple of people asked about cryptocurrencies too, and I'll show you how I use the tools on that. All right. So silvertrading.com slash forward slash formula. Uh, if you did the class take the class on Saturday, you want to upgrade, just go ahead and uh, you can contact us and uh, we can get you squared up. All right, looking forward to the live trading that's starting bright and early tomorrow morning.